Pagkatapos ng review video ko nitong Mauno PM422 USB Condenser Microphone, marami ang nagtanong sa akin, Kuya Ray, meron ka bang cheaper alternative dyan sa PM422 microphone mo? Ang sabi ko, yes, meron. This is the Mauno Ferry Premium USB Microphone. And yes, this is a lot cheaper than the PM422 I'm using right now. And i-review natin ito today. Pero bago yan, let's roll the intro para mo pro. Hey, what's up guys? Rana din siya, Alan Puy. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagbabalit nyo dito sa channel ko. Yes, katatapos ng ng Pasko, no? kaya medyo kailangan back to work ako dito sa ate. And as I've said earlier, we are going to review a cheaper alternative dito sa aking PM422 USB microphone by Mauno. This is also a Mauno microphone. And this is the Mauno Ferry Premium USB microphone. Hindi ko pa yung ginagamit ngayon dahil nasa box pa siya. And ngayon, naririnig nyo lang is yung Mauno PM422 USB condenser microphone. If interesado kayo dito sa Mauno, PM422 USB condenser microphone, you can watch my review video up in here. And since natapos na ang spotlight nitong PM422, ilagay naman natin ang spotlight dito sa ating Mauno Fair. Bago yan, I just want to thank Mauno Manila and Personal Zen Trading for sending this here in the attic. Full disclaimer, yes, pinadala po nila sa akin itong microphone na to, but I'm not going to be biased about my opinions tungkol sa microphone na to. At ngayon natapos na tayo sa disclaimer, let's see what's in the box. Inside the box, you get the user manual, a USB-C to USB-A cable, and the Mauno Ferry Premium USB microphone. Let's talk about the build quality. This is made out of plastic with a mix of metal. It has two polar patterns. Meron siyang omnidirectional, meron din siyang cardio. At meron siyang switch sa likod para itagol mo yung dalawang polar patterns na yan. And mamaya tatas natin yung kanyang proximity no, for both polar patterns. Sa harapan, meron siyang microphone gain knob. And this knob also acts as a button for you to mute the mic. Ngayon pipindutin ko na yung mute button niya. And of course, hindi nyo na naman narinig yun dahil nag-mute ako kanina. So, it has its own mute button. You can also monitor yourself using a headphone dahil meron siyang 3.5mm output sa likod. So, uh, right now, I am monitoring myself and it also has its own headphone volume now. So, ma-adjust mo rin kung gaano mo kalakas gusto marinig yung sarili mo. And by the way, I am using the Mauno MH601 Studio Monitor Headphones. Just a quick specs for you tungkol dito sa MH601. This is a studio monitor headphones, meaning it has a flat response. Pwede ka mag-mix and master using these headphones. And sobrang komportable niya sa mga tenga. And ang pinaka nagustuhan ko dito sa headphones, na to ay it, isa siyang jowable headphones because let me show you it has two outputs pwede ang inyong regular size PL plug dito sa output dito and it also has another output which is a 3.5mm output so if may jowa ka or may girlfriend ka no, meron siyang 3.5mm headphones or earphones pwede siyang makishare sa'yo dito simultaneously so this is what I call hashtag Joable headphones. So this is the Mauno MH601. Back to the Mauno Ferry. As I've said, it has a tabletop stand. But if gusto mo siyang ilagay also sa isang uh, desk boom arm like this one, you can also do that by just removing this thread and uh, papakita ko na lang yung B-roll para maintindihan nyo. Yan. Pwedeng-pwede mo rin siyang iangka sa inyong desktop boom arm. The Mauno Ferry uses a USB-C cable meaning mas mataas yung data rate ng audio na tinatransfer nito sa iyong computer. Or mas mataas yung bit rate na pumapasok sa inyong computer. Dahil gumagamit gamit siya ng USB-C. Hey, future kaya Ryan to, no? Ini-edit ko itong pinapanood nyo. Isisingit ko lang, no? Kasi nakalimutan kong banggitin. If you are wondering kung gagana ba siya sa mga mobile phones, the answer is yes and no. May mga mobile phones lang po na napapagana si Mauno Ferry. Well, based sa research at sa info din na pre-provide ni Mauno Manila, may mga gumamit ng Samsung S7 Edge, gumana si Mauno Ferry. May mga gumamit din ng Samsung A10s, gumana rin si Mauno Ferry. Gumana rin si Mauno Ferry sa Samsung S8. I am not an Android user, I am an Apple user. So ginamit ko siya dito sa iPhone 11 Pro and sadly, hindi siya gumana. But yeah, I'm not really sure no kung gagana ba siya sa ibang phones na meron kayo. Yan lang. 
na idagdag ko lang. Now, back to the video. At ngayon na nabanggit ko na halos lahat ng features nito Mono Fairy Premium USB Condenser Microphone, let me do my microphone tests. And the first test we are going to do is to test out its polar pattern. Dahil nga dalawa yung polar patterns nito microphone na to. One cardioid and the other one is omnidirectional. Right now we are using the cardioid polar pattern. I am going to rotate the microphone para ma-check natin yung mga nasasagap niya sa buong 360 degree angles niya. Right now, nakatutok sa harapan ko. So, I am going to twist this one right now. Nakaharap sa akin. And ngayon, ay nasa gilid niya na ako. I am testing out the Mauno Fairies polar pattern, which is cardioid. And right now, ayan, nakatalikod na sa akin yung microphone. Nakatagilid ulit. Now, it's back sa normal niyang posisyon na nakaharap na siya sa akin. That is a test of its cardioid polar pattern. Ngayon naman isi-switch ko yung kanyang polar pattern switch sa likod. Gagawin ko namang omnidirectional. Right now, you are hearing the omnidirectional polar pattern of the Mauno Ferry. And iikot ko lang. Ngayon nakaharap sa akin yung microphone. Again, this is the omnidirectional polar pattern. No? Igigilid ko naman na siya. Ayan. Nakagilid siya sa akin. 90 degrees na siya sa, sa akin. And uh, right now, nakatalikod siya sa akin which is 180 degrees. And igigilid ko siya ulit. And ito ay kanyang 90 degree angle. And ibabalik ko na siya sa harapan. Again, this is a test of the Mauno Ferry using the omnidirectional polar pattern. Again, the omnidirectional polar pattern ay advisable if you are recording with more people or you want to record the background or yung nakapaligid mismo sa microphone because omnidirectional polar pattern is 360 degrees. But since mag-isa lang naman ako, I'm going to be using the other polar pattern which is cardioid. Let me switch back to cardioid. And right now, I am using the cardioid polar pattern. As you can hear, mas maganda yung sagap niya since concentrated lang yung microphone capsule sa harapan. So that's my first test dito sa Mauno Ferry. My second test is the proximity test. This is a proximity test of the Mauno Ferry. Halos haligan ko na itong microphone na to. So ayan po ang aking test. This is a proximity test of the Mauno Ferry. I'm 10 inches away from the microphone. And uh, my microphone gain is at 12 A clock. This is the proximity test of the Mauno Ferry. I am a meter away from the microphone and uh, tell me how it sounds like. And that has been my proximity test. The Mauno Ferry didn't come with a pop shield because napansin ko no, sa mga test ko, hindi niya masyadong kailangan ng pop shield dahil hindi mo naman siya masyadong ilalapit sa bibig mo. But let's still test it out. This is my plosive test. I am like 3 inches, three inches away from the microphone and let me just say Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So, that's it. Walang pop shield po yun, no? Lalayo ako ng konti and I will still uh, test out its plosive capabilities. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper pick. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper pick? So, as you can hear, pag tama yung distansya nyo sa microphone, hindi ganun kaapektado si microphone pagdating sa mga plosives and fricatives. The next test that I'm going to be doing is the noise floor test. May mga kumakahol na aso sa labas. So you might hear them, but let me just do the noise floor face. And of course, hindi mo lang naman ito gagamitin sa mga video conferencing app. Maybe gagamitin mo rin to sa iyong home recording studio. So I'm gonna be doing my next test, which is the guitar test. I have here an acoustic guitar, and ilalapit ko lang siya sa aking mono ferry. Siyempre, pagkitaas natin mag-record ng gitara, try din natin mag-record ng vocals gamit itong uh, Mauno Ferry. Wait lang. Oh! Di ko man lamang nalaman na mawawala na bigla lang Di ko man lamang naisip na idandahan Di ako sanay sa biglaan 
unti-unti na lang sanang nawala Now, I'm going to be doing a comparison. Gagamitin ko ulit itong Mauno 422. Since ito lang din ang aking isa pang USB condenser microphone, ito lang yung maiko-compare ko dito sa Mauno Ferry. So, let me switch back to my Mauno PM422. Wait lang. And now, I am back to the Mauno PM422. Mas mahal po siya sa Mauno Ferry. Pero you have to take note na itong Mauno PM422 ay may kasama ng desktop boom arm, may kasama ng pop filter, may kasama na rin uh, shock mount. Kung baga, isang full set na siya. Maybe that's why it's more expensive than the Mauno Ferry. But I can also hear a, a difference no, pagdating sa audio quality. Medyo mas may mid-range itong PM422 than the Mauno Ferry tabletop USB microphone. Yeah, this is a comparison. So let me switch back to the Mauno Ferry once again. And now, I am back to the Mauno Ferry. Let me know... How it sounds like pagdating sa mga tenga nyo by commenting down there. Pero for me, si Mauno PM422 ay rich sa mid uh, frequencies. No? Medyo mataas yung mga mid. Si Mauno Fairy naman ay medyo bassy ang dating. So in low frequencies niya, medyo wild. So that has been my comparison dun sa PM422 and dito sa Mauno Fairy. And now that we are done with the tests and comparisons dito sa Mauno Ferry, here are my final thoughts. And let's start out with the things I like. Number one, I like the fact that it's a lot cheaper than the PM422. Pero may mga trade-offs din. Wala kang boom arm, wala kang pop shield. But that is the strength of the Mauno Ferry. Hindi mo siya kailangang isetup pa. Si PM422, hindi siya tanggalin, no? This is more of like a base station microphone. Hindi siya ganun ka-portable. Kailangan mo pang dalin itong uh, boom arm na to. Kailangan mo pang iset up yan sa desk mo. Pero dito sa Mauno Ferry, yun yung strength niya. Yun. Tabletop microphone lang siya. That's what I like about it. Sobrang portable niya. Whenever you go out with your laptop when you're going to do podcasts or video conferencing uh, meetings, you can just set this up. Tayo mo lang sa table mo, salpak mo sa laptop mo, and then you're good to go. The second thing that I like is it has its real-time monitoring. Meaning meron siyang 3.5mm output sa likod. Pwede mong monitor mismo yung uh, sarili mo. And uh, This acts as your sound card or audio interface as well. So, pag nakakabit to sa iyong system or sa iyong PC or Mac, maririnig mo na rin yung system sounds, no? mga videos na pinapanood mo sa computer mo, maririnig mo na rin siya dito. The third thing that I like is the mute button. Meron siya sariling mute button. Hindi mo na kailangan i-mute yung sarili mo every time na uubo ka or sisigaw ka o babahing ka tuwing nasa ano ka, nasa Zoom ka or Google Meet. The fourth thing that I like about this microphone is its ability to switch from cardioid to omnidirectional polar pattern. If you are podcasting, if you are using this with more people, no, meron kang mga kasamang tao na kailangan mag-record, you can just flick the switch na nasa likod and uh, magiging omnidirectional microphone na siya. Now, here are the things that I don't like about this microphone. Sinabi ko kanina na gusto ko yung mute switch niya, yung mute button niya. Pero, pakinggan nyo to, yung mute ko ah. Yan, in-unmute ko ulit. Pero may narinig kayong switch, ba? Diba? May narinig kayong lagutok bago siya mag-mute. Let me try that one more time. Ayun eh, no. Know, Rinig na rinig yun. So, medyo disturbing lang yung tunog na yun. Dito sa Mauno PM422, it has a mute switch here. Yan. May mute switch siya dito. Pero, it's just a touch button. So, walang tunog. That's the first thing that I don't like about this Mauno Ferry. The second thing that I don't like about this is it hears a lot sa background. Wala siyang masyadong noise reduction, no? Well, those are the only things that I don't like about this microphone. Now, para kanino itong microphone na to? Itong microphone na to ay para do sa mga tao na always on the go. Kung madalas kang lumabas at magpalipat-lipat ng pwesto, gamit mo ang laptop mo, this is the perfect USB mic for you. Kasi tabletop lang siya. Hindi mo na kailangang mag-setup pa ng kung ano-ano. And if If you are going to pursue your podcasting career, no, magandang maganda ito, lalong lalo na kung isa kang podcaster na palipat-lipat nga ng pwesto, pwedeng pwede ito para sa Now that has been my review of the Mauno Ferry premium USB microphone. If you want to know more about this product, check out the links below. If you want to purchase this, pakicheck po ang mga links dyan sa baba. Make sure na bibili kayo sa Mauno Manila or sa Personal Zen Trading. Again, I would like to thank them for sending this microphone here in the attic. And uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year po sa inyo. Now, if this video helped you, please, pa-subscribe naman.
i-click mo lang yan. Yan, 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 yan. Yan, pati yung bell notification para ma-notify ka every time na may bago akong video. So once again, this has been Rhino Denshal. Thank you so much for being here and see you in the next video.